Hello friend, I have this Cisco access point. The model is Air CAP 35021-N-K9. This is Cisco model access point. So uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, give you the guideline how to change the wireless SSID, how to do the configuration for this access point. It's a very simple, so I can just tell you, see uh, the back of the device, there is a two Ethernet port. One is Ethernet, one is console port. So I have connected the PoE to the Ethernet and from console, I have connected to my laptop. This is a USB serial, uh, serial port cable. I can show you here. So this is the cable that you can connect with the from this Cisco to your laptop and then you can use the software which is putty you can download from Google Google and it's a free so then you can you can access it I will show you here so this is putty software which I have connected so I need to open it and then here the serial I need to select it and then my computer manager and then find out what is the com port number so after that I need to access it so device manager and device manager there is a port com so I need to select it and check the port number port number is a 3 and then I'm going to close it here is port number 1 and then 3 so this is the 3 port number and then I'm going to open it after open it you can see that it is started so this setup will take like 4 to 5 to 6 minutes to complete the setup after that I I can get the IP address from here then that IP address can access with the Google browser Google Chrome or any of the browser what you have so I'm going to skip this video because after that it will be the large video like 10 to 20 15 minutes video so after that when it's the this this is completed after that I will show you so friend this is now completed now here is showing the IP address you can see it it's the IP address is showing here 192.168.0.100 and subnet mask is showing 255.255.255.0 so this is the, the host IP address that we can access it from our browser so need to open Google Google Chrome or any any web browser if you have it you can you can just open it and type the IP address and then you can access it it the same IP address you have to just log in it here and you can see it's asking for a username and password so username password is username is admin uh, admin and password is Cisco like C capital Cisco C I S C O C capital and then all other are small so this is the page is open the model is Cisco Airnet 35 series access point so how to make the configuration how to change uh, the password or other, other things so here is the easy you can see here network association wireless security service management software etc there is a lot of so I just go to here network network configuration you can see that host name is AP DSCP static IP if you want to change anything so you can change it from here so I'm going to just change wireless network name and password here 
so this is 2.4 and this is 5 gigahertz I'm going to change it and uh, the 5 gigahertz this is 2.4 and just enable the broadcast SSID after that here the security WPA PA2 PSK I type the wireless password and here you can also select uh, uh, the channel frequency also that if you want here is the channel frequency so I'm not going to select it and then I'm going to apply it after apply you can see it my SSID is here and then I need to select a 5 gigahertz and then the same things I have to apply it security WPAPSK to password and then I'm going to apply it after that I need to go to the summary so in summary you can see here 2.4 gigahertz and 5 so first I need to click 2.4 and then going to the setting in setting you can see the radio is disabled so here you need to enable it uh, enable the radio and then access point is ok and then I'm going to apply it I'm not changing anything apply apply ok after save the setting so if the device is rebooted after that so this first 2.4 is enabled and then you can see it here also still same I say enable already and then you can you can see that 5 gigahertz after save the setting configuration is saved now and then 5 gigahertz also you have to do the same thing in summary in summary uh, for 5 gigahertz you have to select it and then the same things you have to do because after when the configuration is done it's uh, uh, asking to uh, reboot the device so now you can see it 2.4 is green now and then you have to select it 5 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz also you have to do the same thing enable and then apply the setting apply setting and then you can see it here in mobile phone the wireless network name is RAD network is here so you can you can see as 5 gigahertz and 2.4 is available here so you can connect it and use the setting for this it's a very simple simple configuration so you have to you have to select it and do the configuration as the same way with the putty software and this is the way that you can configure configure any of uh, the Cisco model which is Cisco Air not uh, 3500 series access point so hope you enjoy this video hope you understand that please subscribe my channel and like my video
thank you for watching